The European Union has uh, 29 projects in uh, six different countries in, in the Indian Ocean region on biodiversity. Our key partner on biodiversity is the Indian Ocean Commission. We work together to improve the livelihoods of local population in, in the region while protecting the natural resources. So the protection of natural resources is key objective of, of these programs. The mangroves uh, play a crucial role in the ecosystem of, of the coastal areas, in the natural resources and the resources of the coastal areas. And um, they, their massive root system, uh, they protect uh, um, the coastal areas from erosion, from tropical storms, and it's also a nursing ground for various kind of juvenile fish. We are in Lufigi Delta. Lufigi Delta is mainly found in Lufigi River Basin, which cover total area 53,000 hectares. And uh, the promotion of sustainable forest management has been done by doing specific project which involve community around in this area. The total village which participate is only 20 villages. This village found in North Delta and South Delta, and both of them they have two common activity of protecting the environment. Actually, the background of Pakaya project is the poverty among the people in the Rufiji Delta. They entered the mango forest to cut it illegally for any income, and they also entered the mango forest for expanding rice farms. This resulted into conflict between them and the mangrove authorities. So we established this project in order to promote sustainable conservation and utilization of mangroves and other biodiversity for the purpose of eradicating poverty and to bring about community development. So this project, in essence, is a biodiversity project. Its main objectives are one, to promote this sustainable conservation and utilization of these mangroves, forests, and the other biodiversity. Second, to strengthen community participation in the conservation and also replanting of the mangroves. Thirdly, to promote beekeeping and ecotourism as alternative economic activities so that people will refrain themselves voluntarily, without force, from depending on the mangroves and fourthly, to resolve the conflict between the mangrove authority and the communities in the area. The outcome of this Pakaya project in the Delta so far is as follows. One, illegal cutting of mangrove forests have been reduced from 20 cases last year to only four cases this year. Also, cases of rice expansion in the area have been reduced from 200 acres last year to only 20 acres this year. Ufanisi wetu ni kati ya Pakaya Group na Pakaya yani Pakaya Group kwa maana ya sisi na lile shirika. Wao walituletea mizinga. Walituletea mizinga kwa ajili ya kuendesha shughuli za ufugaji wa nyuki kwa maana walitukuta tupo chini kidogo katika shughuli za ufugaji wa nyuki kwa hiyo wakaona hebu tuwapelekee hii mizinga ili waongeze huo ufanisi kwa hiyo ushirikiano wetu na wao upo hapo sisi tunayo maeneo wao wakaona haya maeneo yatumike vizuri ni lazima yaletewe mizinga ili tupate kutunza mazingira vizuri mikoko ipate kukua ili mahitaji ya wananchi baadaye iwe mizuri kwa hiyo hizo ndo Eh, faida ambazo tuzo kuwa tunazo kati ya wao na sisi au ufanithi. Lakini hiyo mizinga tayari tumeshaanza kuvuna. Hii mizinga tayari tushaanza kuvuna kwa maana tushaanza kupata faida. Tushaanza kutoa asali ndani ya mizinga. Na lamba hivi asali tam sana. Tushaanza kupata faida. Actually, when full production of honey through this 80 beehives is, uh, has commenced, we anticipate communities to gain 150,000 euros per annum. 
And when ecotourism camps becomes in operation, we anticipate the community to gain 162,000 euros per annum. The conflict between community and the mangrove authority have been resolved. The importance of Tsunza Peninsula to the urban area Mombasa County, which has a lot of uh, hotels. That is fish production, especially the prawn, which is prominent and favorable marine food to the hotels, to transaction of other businesses like the fuel wood and building materials from the mangrove ecosystem, and also agricultural products from the Sunza Peninsula, which is taken to urban areas. Over increase of population growth has made this area uh, more of overfishing or over fish over harvesting, making the resource base nearly to depletion because of that overpopulation. And that overpopulation also has actually made over exploitation of the mangrove ecosystem because of the demand for construction and fuel wood. That now threatens the ecosystem by actually bringing down a soil that is sedimentation and siltation downstream, which during the heavy rains interfere with what we call marine ecosystems. And this has also resulted to go down to port areas where it calls for constant port dredging, which is going to interfere marine commerce. Currently, Comtouch Kenya, a community-based organization managed by local people from the area with their local ideas, using the indigenous technical know-how, formed this particular organization in 2007. And they had three objectives. One was to ensure that we do conservation of these coastal fragile areas. Two, to promote alternative livelihoods so that we reduce poverty. And in order to achieve this, we have an objective of capacity building. So every step we do, we always actually build the capacity of the communities to manage this project effectively. In the rehabilitation of the mangrove degraded areas, we did three sites. We planted a total of 110 mangrove seedlings. That output is achieved now with about approximately 10 acres of mangroves rehabilitated. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Ingin <laughs> Halafu muka gusa kama elfu kumi na sita halafu ino mi elfu ne enye huka ifadi wa namba wa una manya papa wa fasta na watiri kwa enye huka yuza tena kubanda. In the second objective, which was a livelihoods, we had one floating cage unit, and this one was to assist us to culture the juvenile, number them, and then transfer to the existing ponds so that the women who do marriage in that particular area now can do serious business. As you can see here, these are the fish ponds. Yeah, they are eight in number. And this is one of the projects that we are doing as Comtouch. We are putting here fingerlings, which after about eight months, we harvest. 
and we get money for livelihoods. So it's one of the projects apart from mangrove rehabilitation, we usually have the alternative livelihoods. And each point can take a number of 1,500 to 2,000 fingerlings, which I've said in about eight months, we shall have about one ton. That's why we have a, a floating cage with four chambers. That is basically to put fingerlings, we count them, and then when there is a certain number of 1,500 to 2,000, we send it back here to the ponds. And after eight months to one year, then we sell. That is basically what we do here. In that also, we had soil and water conservation, which we trained 20 farms. Already 15 farms have been terraced. In the capacity building, we formed community forest association known as Sumbukofa, Sunzambuguni Community Forest Association. It is already registered with Minister of Register Nairobi, and we are now developing a management plan. Then Vous Zay the <laughs> uh, Makan 
These best practices need to be shared uh, and they need to be shared widely to other countries, other island states and we are so proud that the Biodiversity Project has contributed to improve the livelihood of the communities of the region and towards the conservation of the ecosystems.